Hello, my name is Lucila and I come from Argentina. I was born in a family where art and music were very important. My parents took me and my siblings to concerts and museums, so I think my love for art and music developed naturally during my childhood. In my teens, I started taking art classes. I worked with charcoal, which I really loved, and then I started painting with oil. However, oil painting is a technique that allows you to overwork your painting a bit, and as I tended to be quite realistic in the way I applied the paint, I started working in oil with a spatula and painting still lifes by candlelight, trying to move away from realism and capture the scene in a more impressionistic way. And after a number of years, I felt the need to work with a lighter medium. I wanted to work without so much control in the way I applied the paint. And that's when I came across Ron Ransom's book, Watercolor Fast and Loose. And when I saw it, I really said to myself, well, this is the way I want to paint. But as my career was in education at that time, I put my artistic interest on hold for many years. And it wasn't until six years ago that I was able to embark on this wonderful journey that now finds me working with watercolors. I learned to paint in watercolors with a teacher who acted more as a guide, letting her students find their own way. She gave tips, but you really never felt that what you were doing was wrong. And I think that gave me the freedom to paint quite freely and loosely and not worry about whether the technique was right or wrong, because just that wasn't the focus. I fell in love with the way the water blends in with pigments and pictures just come about practically without you not knowing how they did. So little by little, I found my own way of painting, which may not be perfect, maybe in technique, but I feel that they reflect what I want to convey with them. I think my main influences have been the Impressionists. Ever since I started taking art history classes when I was young, I fell in love with the way they were able to express the changes of daylight in their paintings with the small, quick brush strokes and giving the viewer an impression of the scene without making it realistic. I also loved Caravaggio and Rembrandt again for the way they worked with light and shadow. And I now realize that throughout my art journey, I have looked for that way of insinuating objects, landscapes, flowers, birds, without depicting them in a realistic way. As I have just mentioned, these are objects, flowers, birds and landscapes are what inspire me. And this is my main theme in my watercolor journey so far. Trying to capture and depict the essence of what I see and the impression of it with water and pigments. I think the biggest challenge of being an artist is being true to yourself and following your instinct of what you want to share through your art. And then of course, if you want to sell your art, I personally find it hard to be both the Marchand and the artist, because as an artist, you just want to create and hopefully find someone else to oversee selling your art. The advice that I would give to my younger self would be to never forget the importance of the arts in my life. Apart from oils and watercolors, I have worked with cyanotype. Oh, it's such a magical technique. I was so impressed when I first tried it. And once I started working with it, I couldn't get enough. I tried it on paper, on fabric, and I was even commissioned to make a huge tapestry. It was quite a challenge, but it turned out all right. When I work, I like to listen to music, usually soft acoustic music, 
but I even sometimes like complete silence because I get rid of all distractions and I just let myself go. I think that the best reaction someone has had to my artwork was to a painting I did of a pink lapacho that is on a special street corner in Buenos Aires. A woman bought it as a gift for her father because it was a tree they both saw on the way to school when her father took her to school when she was a child. And she bought it and gave it to him as a Christmas present and told me that her father was very moved with this gift. She even sent me a picture of my painting hanging in her parents' house. And I was also very moved by a woman who contacted me through Instagram and told me that my art had inspired her to return to painting with watercolors, which she had abandoned long ago. So I think that these kind of emotional connections and reactions are what I hope people take away from my art. That through my art, people can feel what I feel when I'm painting, which is such a bliss. I always tell people who buy my art that I feel humbled that someone would pay to have something I painted in their home. Because what else could I ask for than to be able to do what I love, share it with others and know that other people like it too. Because I will continue to create no matter what. And I would like to end this interview with a quote from Morgan Harper Nichols that goes like this. Keep creating what is meaningful to you. Not what is perfect, but what is honest, beautiful and true. For no matter who sees your worth or receives what you have to offer, what comes from deep within speaks to the endless depth of you. Thank you very much. <laughs>